Okay, okay, now we're recording. Okay, so yeah, sorry about that. We might have lost 20 seconds of progress. No, 20, 20 minutes of progress. So, yeah, we, yeah nothing, nothing much actually happened. I mean, we just started. Second day. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to use this opportunity to go autopsy, to go do an autopsy to the body. Before we go do the interviews downstairs. So, yeah. Huh. Okay, there they are. Okay. How's it going, partner? Morning. Looks like we can get to work at once. The union must have turned up. They look mm. rowdy. We should talk to them. Uh, all these men Gardy told us about yesterday? I completely forgot. Uh, sorry, yeah. I had a rough night's sleep. It's damn okay. by the looks of it. Loud and nasty, just like the manager said. Mm. One loose thread less to worry about. Okay. One big problem to replace it. I forgot to talk to him earlier. What do you mean, rowdy? I mean, ungovernable. Okay. Martinez isn't exactly enthusiastic about the RCM being here. They prefer to be policed by the Union. Uh -huh. These men here, men who drink beer for breakfast, there's talk of an armed wing of the Union called uh -huh. the Hardy Boys, who are responsible for Hardy state boys. policing. I think okay. it's them. There's so many of them, maybe we should call reinforcements? That would just escalate yeah, tensions. Yeah, it would. No captain would sign off on it. Solving one murder isn't worth a conflict between the RCM and the debarders. That union. is true. In fact, even the death of two detectives might not warrant an all-out war. Oof. So let's keep a cool head, okay? One more thing before we what? do. We don't have to talk to them immediately. Yeah. We can walk right past them, continue with our business. Yeah, I want to go autopsy the body. Yeah, streetwise. Zoom right past. Do it on your own terms. But... Aren't you curious to know what they have to say about the murder? They're in no hurry to leave. Yeah, they think they own the place. They'll be here for anyway, a bit. I leave that choice to you. Whatever you decide is fine by me. Okay, well, we'll actually go past them. Just to go autopsy the body. How are you doing? Okay. Okay, let's just get going. Yeah. I need to do the thing I forgot to do last time and just actually do an autopsy. Like, I mean, I autopsied the ground. So, okay. Thank you, autosaving. Okay. Let's see. There he still is, looking right through you with his white eyes. Okay, let me just put on the gloves, actually. Alright. There he still is, mm -hmm. looking right through you with his white eyes. The body below is entirely dedicated to that corpse. Okay, well, if I fail, I can always... It is all it does mm. now. Our endurance is kind of low. If I do fail, I could always raise it up again because I do have a free level up. The Damn it. smell is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth. More instant and more familiar than anything you expected. More fever than odor. Okay, I don't want to. I don't want to throw up over this. From within. Try to walk away. Oh shit! Ooh. Okay. Uh. Want to help me out here? Too late. Mm. It's impossible to keep in. Your body curls and pushes it out, burst by burst, until a pool of vomit lies under your feet. And your throat stings from the stomach acid. Yeah. The smell of Commodore Red rises from the pool. I'm sorry. Among it, distilled spirit and bits of shish kebab. It's okay. okay. Happens to everyone. Keep it. Thanks. 
The hangover is clearly making these words for you. Uh, that's true. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. Where do I get ammonia? There's the frit nearby. Maybe they have some in the apothecary. A frit? If they don't... Oh, the greenhouse? There's a greenhouse here, and a gardener with a wheelbarrow on the corner of the whirling in rags. Mm -hmm. If she works here, she might have something for the smell. Hmm. Pretty clever. Acquiring ammonia will provide a modifier to the white check. Modifiers make checks easier and allow you to retry them. Mm -hmm. Okay, ammonia. Ammonia is a modifier that can... Okay. That's interesting. Don't I have any of that stuff in my inventory? I thought I did. Well, apparently I don't. There, he still is, looking right. Active decay. He's mm. about to blow! Cop's gonna blow, Kuno! Alright. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so they said the freight. Uh, let me get the map. Where's the freight at? I'm gonna go stop by the corner store. various medicine bottles, nasal sprays, and blister packs. They all bear mm. the Saint Baptiste Pharmaceutics logo. Do you have any ammonia? Yeah, there's like an ampule somewhere. I would like to buy some ammonia. Okay, don't like overdo it or something. Okay, thank you. I need to handle the corpse outside. I can't tell. Is it morning, I think? Or... Yeah. Has to be. Uh, okay. There he still is, looking right through you. With his white eyes, the body below is entirely oh, dedicated long to that and have corpse ammonia. smell. Emitting it is all it does now. The ammonia what? only makes it worse. What? The combination forces tears out of your guts. Uh. You manage to keep it in once. The second time, not so much. Oh, when God the damn vomiting it. is done, your cheeks are wet with tears. Mmm. Spit it out and say nothing. Are you okay, officer? You're facing tough odds here. It's aggravated further by alcohol withdrawal. No. Uh, can't we do something else? I think uh, I want to solve something else now. Do it without me. I can't keep it. In. I can't keep it down. No. This is a two-man mm. assignment, it. because it needs two officers to complete. I need your help. You need to get your shit together. Okay. Now my shit is already... It's okay. We should go talk to the locals. Find something else to do while the wind changes. It's pretty bad right now. You've gained a thought. When this dialogue is over, go to your thought cabinet and internalize it for special bonuses and effects. Huh. Give it half an hour. Get half yourself hour? together. Then come back and have another go. Okay. Let's go to our thoughts real quick. Okay, I wonder if I... Let's forget about this one.
Okay, so the sh the volumetric shit compressor. Your shit is a part, and it is rather unbecoming of a cop and a human being. It's supposed to be the opposite of that. Together, compress in a small area to achieve a solid level of shit compression. Squeeze your butt cheeks together for 30 seconds. Do something similar with the two helm for spears of your brain. Talk to people that, that will help you. That maybe will help. Okay. Let's get our shit together. <clears throat> Kuno's got this. Why, why are you throwing a rock at the body? If there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid, then this is it. Did you toss He's a rock at the body? Exquisite in his ugliness. I like toss a, a rock. Man. Oh yeah, not a goofy Kuno. A uh, moment of your time. Can't talk, pig. Shit's coming up strong. Throwing rocks. Yeah, you are throwing rocks. Okay, I did saw that. Shit coming up strong. That sounds good. Joyous. You should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. Juicy what now? I mean drugs. The kid's on drugs. Really? The kids be doing drugs in 51. Yeah, Kuno! Ride the lightning, Kuno! Oh. Kuno's riding it, see? The rake, Kuno! You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! Oh, okay, can we... Can you guys not tamper with evidence? The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener. <sighs> Get it. Uh... Kim, what should we do? Uh, can you get your siblings? Probably not. Mm, Kim, I need your help. We shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt such forces. What forces? You will see. Oh. The language these kids are using. Pure, unfettered id. Yeah. There will be no reasoning with those creatures. <laughs> those creatures, yeah, yeah. Does... Hmm... Just how, how, how do we... Mm. Mm. He hello, fellow young people. Fuck no! Kuno okay. doesn't buy that shit! Fucking entrapment shit! Fast. This kid has got street smarts. Okay, yes. okay. I'll give him that. You get siblings? What the fuck are you talking about? Kuno, he says we're fucking each other. What? What? <laughs> oh, I, I just got questions for you, kid. Jesus fucking Christ. Right. Entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. Oh, man. The kid moves his hands like a basketball player dribbling fast. Uh huh. Is that the way? Did that sport actually exist in 51? I don't know. Uh, brr. Got any speed? <laughs> uh, I, Kuno, I, I keep throwing up and I can't investigate the body at all. I gotta ask, who's Kuno? I'm guessing that dude's Kuno. Uh, the body, what do you know about it? Shitload pig, what's your question? Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno! This is where you quickly okay. ask him questions. Yeah. Real cop questions. Let's go. Like a cop. You know how it got up there? Probably climbed. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit cl went down. Cl climbed. Y yes. Just sorry. You Ugh, heard sorry. Kuno. Y Kuno you didn't wasn't see it happen? even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachol. Kuno wasn't regional. Okay, where did you go then? I don't know. Some fucking... Trying to come up with an excuse. Mesk or, or... I don't know. Some other place. Night City. Kuno is in fucking Night City. There is no Night City anywhere. That sounds like the name of a city in some pulp science fiction novel. Uh, Should we call him out on his bluff? Yeah, let's go... Let's deeper in this Kuno gives this info out on a need to know basis mm -hmm. and you don't need to know okay Kuno didn't smoke the gimp if that's what you meant thanks Kuno 
That's one name you can now cross off mm -hmm. the list. Okay, uh, have you seen anyone suspicious around? Just a couple of pigs sniffing around in the dirt. Mm -hmm. That seems pretty fucking suspicious to Kuno. Yeah, you tell the faggoty Kuno! Do you know who he was? Kuno's fuck him. Kuno uses the fuck him for target practice. He's trying to hide the fact that he doesn't know. I meant who he was before he died, so you don't... Kuno knows what you meant. Kuno's not a snitch, that's all. Trying to make Kuno say Kuno's fuck. He's trying to hide so you don't the know anything. Kuno knows all kinds of shit. Okay. Kuno's not a snitch, that's all. Trying to make the Kuno sing into the popo phone. Don't worry this later right now, let's talk about something else. You're testing Kuno's patience, yeah. Get lost! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Uh, let's see. You kids often play in this yard? Right, pig. This is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo choo. What do you want with it? Uh huh. Mm, let's see. Uh, Kuno, there's a stack of. <laughs> Enter night back there? Points to Shack. Mm, dead man clothes were in the trash container. How did I get in there? Should I go for the clothes or maybe try to see if he's willing to open the shack? Just like try to bait him. Yeah, let's go with the. Uh... Let's go. Maybe we'll talk about. The container. Yeah, Kuno doesn't know shit about that. That shit is beneath Kuno. Okay, okay, something Shoot else. That shit at Kuno, dumpster diver. Uh, what's in the greenhouse over there? Don't know. Kipped ass gardener used to work there. Mm hmm. Kipped is a pejorative term used to mm. describe people of South Seminese or Eriopagite mm -hmm. descent. It used to be a common first name among the Eriopagites of Yeah, Imran. he has a little twat. Not so much anymore. But we have to just, you know, try to be like, hello, fellow young people, you know? He's, he's, he's got to do it. We're doing this for the crime. Hold on, Gardner used to work there? That's what Kuno said. Uh -huh. She couldn't handle the heat, so she took off. Uh -huh. Kuno can take it. Shit, nothing to Kuno. Hold on. The gardener used to... Okay, I already asked that one. You mean the young woman at the whirling rags, the gardener? Well, obviously. Look, yeah? Kuno doesn't explain shit. Kuno just says shit. Mm-hmm. He looks at the eye and nods, agreeing at himself. Yeah. Her. her. What was she doing in the greenhouse in March mm -hmm. anyway? What kind of gardening is done in March? I wonder. Fish is sometimes used to fertilize the soil a few weeks before planting. I mean, isn't it spring Maybe though? Maybe she was preparing the garden beds. Hmm, I should ask her about that. Yes, it seems suspicious. You don't like things being like that. Yep. Suspicious. The ladder ever climb it? Look at that fucking shit! You're trying to get Kuno killed! So you would say the ladder is unreach unclimbable. The fuck does Kuno know? Kuno's not a fucking acrobat! Okay, thank you, Kuno. That's all we needed to hear. The lieutenant takes a quick note in his notebook. And yeah, jot that down. It's a trap, Kuno! Don't climb it, Kuno! Kuno, there's a stack of Emmer Knight back there. That's just some shit roofing gimps left behind, lazy dinks. He's hiding something. So you're hiding something? Shit some ginks left behind sound legit, let's move on. So you're hiding something. Pig, if Kuno was hiding something, it would be hidden. But it is not hidden, mm -hmm. is it, sire? You picked up on it. You should examine the pile of roofing material roofing again. Material. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. Kuno doesn't fucking care. 
Okay, Kuna. Let's, uh, where's the roof stuff? Can we actually go investigate that stuff? Yeah, it's on the other side. I have to figure out a way around. How about you? Kuno, the pig's getting pretty close to me. Come to snuff my shit out, I think. Take one step closer. I feel like he's going to punch me. One second. Uh, just in case he tries to knock the lights out of me. Like, these kids are kind of hostile. Kuno, the pig's getting prick. Looks like it's time for me to go, Kuno. Pig's come to take me in. Just want to ask you questions. I'm going away for a long, long time, Kuno. Going away for life. <laughs> oh my god. What's going on there? Fuck are you trying to pull, uh. pig? Listen, kid child, this corpse made me puke twice. I was wondering why you don't. Probably because kids are younger and we're old. Stay away from me, pig! You don't want to see what happens when you corner me. Okay. I'll die before I squeal, pig. <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh... You there behind the fence? You don't want to fuck with me! I got my hands bloody. I'm not here, pig! You're not seeing this! You can uh -huh. still see the top of her hat yeah. from behind the fence. Yeah, we're getting nowhere with these kids. Ask about the gar gardening in March. The young woman in the wheelbarrow corn in the world below told you that she had to take a break from gardening because of the cadaver smell, but what if she was lying after all? What kind of gardening is done in March? Very true. Wouldn't the gardening be done in the summer? Hmm. Alright. Let's go. Okay, they're still here. Hey, you. Let me handle this. Detective disorientated. Are you still wondering where you are? Mm. This is Martinez, in case you've forgotten. <sighs> I advise you not to overstay your welcome. Her entire character has shifted. This young woman yeah. is cold as mm. ice. So you lied to me, you're not the gardener? That's right. I am not a gardener. Okay. I'm a legal counselor for the Dock Workers Union. So let's get to it. You're looking for Titus Hardy? Well, that kind of... You think he has information that will help you? That's Titus. Mm -hmm. Talk to him. But know this. I'll be keeping an eye on you. No strong arming. Nothing official. The district of Martinez does not recognize your authority to make arrests. It doesn't matter if you recognize our authority. We will make an arrest if we have to. I mean, listen, as long as no one is throwing punches, I think it'll be fine. She says nothing. Her glare speaks for her. Uh -huh. Could this be the Miss Beaufort that Easy Leo mentioned? The one Mr. Everett sent to law school? Uh-huh. What is your role in all this? Like I already told you. I'm a legal counselor. Do you have hearing problems? I'm old. Are you Lizzie Elizabeth Miss Beaufort? I suggest not wasting time on trivial pleasantries and focusing on why you are actually here. Okay. Even though she has excellent control over herself, something moves behind her eyes, mm -hmm. in the way she stands, in her face. Easy Leo told me about you. You like to talk a lot. You are not here to chat up the legal okay. counsel. You are here to question these men. What are you going to do to me? Hmm. What are we going to do to you? <laughs> that is the laugh of a killer. The union isn't going to do anything to you. 
It is not a crime syndicate. It is a labor organization. Mm -hmm. If anything, it is the RCM who do things to people. But we digress. Uh -huh. And what if I want to talk to you? Why are you so aggressive? Aggressive? You make your living enforcing violence. These people are just dock workers. Hmm. So you were spying on us. And now you represent murder suspects. Just dock workers. Listen, you moral intern lackeys. You're a mob. Enforcing the unlawful privatization of Revishaw. Twenty fat men in the Occident are stealing it all. And you're their bodyguards. Fuck yeah. So ask what you came to ask. Or get back to your commanders. Mm. Mm, I wonder if saying this will piss them off. I like that. Good start. Let's take it a step further. Armed uprising. What are the Union plans? Look, a comedian. Do your job. Ask your questions. Then get out of Martinez. Well, it's not that simple. Strange. It's as if people don't believe a cop could be a socialist revolutionary. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's go start the questions. Volumetric shit compressor. Oh. Oh, did I get my shit together? Bizarre scientific news from Revachol West today where a police officer's shit has been observed at a pressure of around 495 gigadecimals. These metallic hydrogen levels of shit togetherness were thought to exist only at the center of collapsing stars, not law officials. It remains to be seen how long the shit singularity lasts. Well, shit. Compressed. Okay. Maybe if I get my shit together, I can go check the body. Mm-hmm. Listen, I got my shit together. There he still is. There we go. Right Very high. Him with his white eyes. Let the go of your nose without throwing up. Dedicated to that corpse yeah. plus, plus six Imagine shit compressed. It does now. As you yeah. breathe in, the odor comes over you. Nice. It's the spell of the mind telling you to run and your stomach to ring itself empty. With your hands at your sides. We got a stronger stomach. Squinting, you stand in it. Sweet. It's a puzzle. What's hanging in front of you is a puzzle of decaying flesh, tattoos, and tendons. Step closer. Or do they always do that? They do after seven days, yes. Okay. We are deep in decomposition here. The closer. man before you is naked, but for a pair of underpants and yeah. enamel boots. His skin is greenish. Marble okay. with decaying veins Inspect and the blotched by lividity. A As, fading web yeah. of tattoos covers his chest and shoulders. The cargo belt used to fasten him to the branch above appears mm -hmm. industrial in strength. The material appears to be ceramic. Its clean mm. white stands in stark contrast to the decaying flesh above the knee. The man wore thick polymer socks, a lot of tattoos. probably for padding. A fine array of okay. interlocking plates covers them. Hmm. Delicate okay. and fragile, they feel alien to the world around you. Out of place somehow. Yeah, it looks like some portal boots. These are clearly not boots. They're armor. Possibly part of a larger set. Armor? Indeed. Technically speaking, these are sabatons, not boots. Oh. Oh. The lieutenant uses a memo technique A6. That's not just any notebook. It's a classic. Okay, well, why, why are we talking about the notebook? Forget about the notebook. It's clearly some manner of super armor. Or future armor. Super future armor. I'm used to 
useless. Jesus, encyclopedia. What kind of armor? Ceramic plate. Zirconium dioxide, most likely. This is where the make would be. Hmm. Where? Under the hill. Fair weather. Fair weather model T500 VE. I'm guessing that's vitreous enamel. This is advanced stuff. Yeah, where's the rest of it? Scavenged by the locals? Piece by piece. He's been out here for seven days. Mm -hmm. It would be odd if they didn't. Yeah, so we might need to find parts of those armor. We should keep a lookout for these yeah, pieces. The rest of the armor. armor could yield information. This is one thing he might actually know. Hmm. Maybe he was just wearing the boots, maybe? No, I think no? he had something okay. precious underneath the clothes. They had to remove the jeans and uh -huh. shirt we found to get to it. And this kind of armor is often worn under fabrics. Yeah, body armor. Nice. That makes sense. Uh -huh. So what if they told him to strip before they hung him to demean him? He, uh, I doubt he was walking around naked. Nah, nah. Definitely not an exhibitionist. They usually hang them uh -huh. completely naked for that. Okay. La puta madre. The Mazda. The Besmertis and the like. This one still has his underpants. Huh. Well, yeah, obviously for the game's age ra rating, probably. <laughs> Fucking talking about underpants. Clearly, Kuno would like to interject something. Mm -hmm. But there's not enough for him to hold on to. Yeah, okay. Uh, the materials look out of place here. It is. Uh -huh. It's expensive. We've requested similar material for our tactical units really? for years now. The constabulary is deemed it too costly. In that time, we've lost six men to semi-automatics. Jesus. How much are we talking about? For a full set, about four years of wages. Damn. For the northwest region of Revachol, an officer's average yearly income is 5,500 real, unadjusted for rank. Wait, my yearly pay is 5,500 reals. Not too much, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but... Mm. I need to hustle, yeah, I need to hustle more. I have no idea what that means. Don't know what a hustle is, Kim? Mm. Okay, maybe we should try pulling off the boots. How can this man afford just probably because he's a hitman? That's for us to find out. Mm -hmm. Mr. Gart implied he was security personnel for the Harbour Company. Mm. This confirms my own assumptions. He's a pretty advanced for security guard. I agree. This equipment mm. is way beyond what a guard can afford. Let's try pulling them off. The stench fills your nostrils. As you push downward, an ominous creaking sound. Oh god, we're gonna break him by the, the neck. Stop! Right. Pig's gonna pull his head off. Brutal! Oh, this is a bad idea, isn't it? Before he's. Uh, okay. Also, welcome. Uh, this is a bad idea. You're going to pull his head off. Why don't we cut down the rope? Do it, homo! Jeez. Just... No. Uh, no. No homo. Stop obsessing about your sexuality, officer. You are about to seriously compromise the coroner's case. Okay. Indeed. From this angle, it does look like the neck isn't going to take much more. Yeah. Even dead for a week has all but liquefied his muscle. Oh, God. What are you trying to achieve, anyway? Why are you hanging on to that boot? Yeah, I thought I, thought I could get them, you know? Those boots could go super well with my bell-bottom pants. <laughs> uh, this is advanced enemy technology. We could conduct research on their weaknesses. Eh, are we not detectives? There may be a clue inside the boots. Probably not. Uh, he said they were expensive. I thought I could pawn them, you know? Boots go ting. Uh, let's see. I'm sorry, I, I didn't even want to take them off. I should have. I just thought I should try. Eh, I thought they would go well with my pants, maybe. Yeah? Maybe? Eh, okay. 
okay, uh, okay, some choice, like, I'm, I'm really wanting it's a choice between either go, go, go roll my pants, I could pawn them, or I'm sorry. Do? Okay. Well, this is advanced technology, we could conduct research into their weakness. Okay, fine. Fair point, that is actually fair. This is not the enemy. This is the deceased, the victim, in a murder investigation. Okay, okay, fine, you're, you're right about that. It does make sense, doesn't yes. it? Yes. Besides, Lieutenant taps on the boots. There's no way you're getting them off. Yeah. The organic matter in his body has been flowing down into the boots. Oh, they right. They are fused to his Used. feet now. Uh, Why do you think the locals haven't scavenged them yet? You're right about that, actually. You're sure there's a way to peel them off. But first, the body needs to be down. And second, it yeah. would probably be better if the lieutenant wasn't around. Oh, okay. Sounds like a plan. The anticipation makes you crack your fingers. Feels nice. Got it. Nice and cracky. What can happen to those boots then? Processing will take care of them. Yeah? With the situation in the morgue, it will yield nothing. But we must pick our fights. Should we continue? Yes. Back off and look at the corpse. The cadaver slowly the twists belt. on the cargo belt. His torso covered in tattoos and extremities blotched pink and blue. Also, by the way, just just wondering, does time stop when we're actually like doing stuff like this? I'm gonna presume, yeah, because like I'm looking at the timer behind me and like, yeah, I don't think it moved at all. I think it only moves when we're like walking around. Inspect the belt. The hangman's knot is pulled tight by the weight of the corpse below. Mm -hmm. Yellow, hard-edged polyester. It looks like it's gonna fall. Above, a sliding buckle ties the belt to the branch. This is a steel-reinforced cargo lashing belt. Big brother of the regular cargo belt. It's used for okay. tying cargo under Okay, so it, it only progresses when someone picks new dial. Okay, so yeah, I just... Saw it go up by a minute. Don't ask me how I know, but this is a lashing belt used for airlifting cargo. Airlifting? Yeah. I thought it was used on lorries for strapping cargo to them. Apparently, this is the reinforced kind for airport. My brain tells me so. The local harbor uses six rotors to shuffle containers okay. around. I get the sense they use whatever was on hand without paying much attention to not incriminating themselves. So we're assuming dock workers from the harbor did this? They sure want to stay stay up there. The rope is reinforced with steel wiring. How did they even get up there? How, how did they get even up there? A noose is one of those things that's mm -hmm. easier to use one way around. Oh yeah, they probably tossed it up on the branch. Did they climb use... E up using the kids ladder that ladder can't carry a grown man no i didn't see any splintering either okay you? i think they lassoed the branch then yeah, pulled on the to close the buckle could be the shape of the branch supports the thing okay so we're assuming the dock workers from the harbor did this i'm still approaching this as a lynching yes yeah. motivated by the ongoing strike mm. you makes sense maybe 70% of the cases I get are just filling in the blanks on the initial report. Uh -huh. This belt worries me. It does it now. We sort of wanted to keep them up there. It's just still wiring. It would be. Yeah. Thin steel wiring, parallel strands. This makes getting him down more problematic than I had assumed. Yeah. The cadaver hangs from the cargo belt. Uh, Limbs think... limp. I don't think we can really look at the eyes because of how high up he is. His eyes are milky white and okay. blind to the world, protruding comically from their sockets. Those there is closed. no home, just subaquatic terrors there. Mm -hmm. Dark brown hair grows on his head. His face is ready to explode from the organic processes inside. The death's head grin has passed. What remains uh. is an unrecognizable mess. Oh boy, I got, I got an even for this. Tell me who you are, dead man. 
I'm gone. <laughs> I can see that you're gone, but who are you? What happened? I hate you, you stinking boy. Uh, where have you gone? I can see that you're gone, but who are you? I'm a joke. Look at me. Hmm. Uh, you are now, but where were you when you were alive? A killer. A motherfucker. And a killer. I have another question for you, ghost. Go ahead, Hobo. What is happening? What do you mean? I am talking to you, first of all. It's the power of your... Imagination. Ah. Uh. Go ahead. Ask me more questions. You fucking love questions. Why, I do love questioning you so much. Or, wait, where have you gone? Into the wild pile yonder. Where is that? In the past. Way out in the west. Why I do love questioning you so much. Because you're a copperoony. Look at all of them go. Do you want more questions? Yeah, give me a question. Come on. Here you go, you loony. Is my name Rooney? Uh, oh, why do I feel like I've forgotten something terrible? Because you have. Yeah? What, am I the killer? All the questions. Is my name a Rooney? Fuck no. Okay. You're no Rooney. No, I'm not Rooney, I'm Harry. No, you're not a Harry either. What the fuck does that you're mean? You're a motherfucker. Oh. That's who you are. Rooney the motherfucker. Okay then. Yeah, I, I hate you. Do I remind you of someone? No. Maybe. A child born with Muller's disease. Ah, uh, let's see. Holocronism. Grown up. Miraculously. Uh, a deep sea creature, myself in the bathroom mirror, a baby affected with a harlequin. Uh, sure, let's go all in myself in the bathroom mirror. I still left the sink on. There you go. Look at that bright kid. We're birds of a feather, you and I. Soon you will be just like me. Just keep drinking and having a good time. It's a matter of weeks. Feeling nausea, vomiting, tenderness or pain around the liver area, tiny red lines on the skin. Up Come up. back later, Corpo. Amuse yourself with my right. frank manners and my memento mori features. Let me look at your tattoos then. If possible. Also, see me in your dreams. I already saw you in my dreams last night. That's why I am asking you this. An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso, from the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Each time they intersect, a small white star is formed in their crossing. Hundreds of fading asterisks riddle his skin. Some... Their concentration is hmm. highest around his heart. Wait, is that a map? A map of the stars. Oh, constellations. I do see some similarity okay. to astronomical charts. Great century Messinian, maybe. Oh. But this seems more particular. Yeah, stay tuned. Customized somehow. I forgot to look at the corpse on day one. Because I was too, bu too busy just wandering around. As if someone left yeah. out most of the night sky, filtering it. Through personal choice, the principle of this filter remains unknown to you. The thought dissipates, and you feel as though you were only half right. So am I. Mm -hmm. 
He wears a wide leather belt around his waist and a gun holster under his arm. He takes a thin piece of milled aluminium from his coat pocket and pulls it open. Sounds like a sword being unsheathed. A small lens appears. Some sort of camera. Eh, let's let the lieutenant work. Or maybe we could be like, what's that? A Trigetson chain. Mini. Oh. Trigget is the world's leading manufacturer of intercommunication okay. devices. Primarily projectors. The camera before you looks familiar somehow. Shit, Kuno! What the fuck is that? An instant color camera. Oh. Fancy. I have only two ampoules, so nobody move. I don't want to waste one. A sound, a shrill flash, followed by the breaking of a small ampoule of glass. You see streams of color pour onto the thick, glossy piece of paper, yeah. rolling out. In case we need it. Hmm. Cool machine. Yes, it is pretty cool, isn't it? Yes. There is only one ampoule left. We need the photo Use for it. it wisely. It contains insight to the victim's person. By his build, I'd say this was a man of physical violence. Okay. The story he wanted his body to tell was important to him. It is his letter to us. Someone should decipher it. Yeah. We need to show it around. Uh, maybe I should take it. Sure. Yeah? Just don't lose it. Okay. The glossy-eyed corpse looks by, his mouth mute, and his skin as colorful as the chemical rainbow on the photo paper, teeming with opportunistic organisms. So how do we get him down? Are you sure we finished the preliminary examination of the cadaver? We might miss some of these things once he's done. Okay, let's step back and have another look. The cadaver slowly twists on the cargo belt, his torso covered in tattoos, and extremities blotched I'm pink just going to and take, blue. Take a step back. Yep, this preliminary examination's done. I have something I need to know, corpse man. Of course. You have questions, don't you? The and power of okay, your comeback later, Corpo. Amuse yes, yourself squint. with my frank manners and my. As you narrow your eyes, the monster before you blurs into a violent mess. Of green and pink. Oh. This is a trick. Okay. You've done it before. Pink is where the blood settled in the first hours post mortem. Mm -hmm. You can use it to see if the corpse has been tampered with. Does his position at the time of death match the discoloration? Observe. Only the lower extremities yeah? are pink with oh. a dash of blue. His fatted hands, thighs, and his neck, just above the noose. The rest of the corpse appears dark green in the cold spring air. Really? His ha face and hands are pink, thighs too. I see it. Yeah. His neck too. The lividity goes right up his chin. We have good, well-pronounced discoloration here. Okay. The monster comes back into focus, an explosion of color coursing with dark marbled veins. His stomach appears pregnant with something. Black liquid streams down his thigh and onto his boot. So what do you think? <laughs> why, why, yes, he is dead. Um, I think uh, he was uh, upright after his death. His hands and feet are discolored. Cover your nose, something is coming out of him. Is something coming out of him? I imagine there is like something streaming down, black liquid. Hmm, he's beaten up, see bruises. I think he was up right after his death, his hands and feet were discolored. Mm -hmm. yeah, he was beaten up based on the bruises, it seems. I do. Yeah. Most of them are post-mortem. Okay. Maybe even all of them. The delinquents have made our jobs harder with their little spot. Yeah. Stop talking in riddles, coin slot. Stop listening, you little twat. I think he was upright after death. His hands and feet are all discolored. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Especially on the neck. Yep. The belt acted like a tourniquet, keeping the blood in his head. The hypostasis supports her hanging. 
you would still like the hypostasis marks in the neck to be mm -hmm. a bit more pronounced. For some reason, my brain would like the pink to be more pronounced, especially around the neck. Yep, seems like a lensing to me. Could it still be moved after death? Could it still be he moved after death? Eh, probably not. Maybe he was struggling by... was strangled by someone. I mean, based on the marks in the neck? Yeah. Yes, there's always yeah. a chance we are wrong. We should check for ligament marks on his neck to see if they're in tune with the belt. We'll have to get him down first. Mm, yeah, that's true. Mm, something coming out of him? A pool of blood and feces has eaten into the frozen mud below the man's feet. Purge liquid is dripping into it, yeah. drop by drop. The victim appears to have contained no more than half a kilogram of digestion at the time of death. The fuck he saying? The body tends to empty itself after death. <sighs> Talking about shit. Yeah. God damn right, right um, <laughs> he's turn around and yell at these kids. Yeah, got it. God, I, I don't know if it's a good idea to provoke the kids. What do you, what do you think? Well, they think I'm cool. <laughs> Doubt it. Uh. Yeah, we got lucky. Actually, no. You got them right, kids. Malicious laughter erupts in the yard. Sounds like seagulls. Yeah, that's right. They're the fucking birds. <laughs> Big head, he's a f <laughs> Yeah, I hope your kids are entertained. The lieutenant's face is made of yeah. stone. Yeah, I think he's dead. I agree. Yes. I'm glad we can come to this, as, like, <laughs> conclusion. His personality is no longer a part of the world. Totally dead. Totally dead. The world's <laughs> I'm surprised there's actually a bunch of categories for this. Mm, no, better not to say. Too heavy. Totally. This bruise not come back. Dead, 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 dead. <laughs> what is what is death? Well, what is right in front of us? Oh boy, we can be a bit philosophical with this. Mm. Yeah, the world the world no longer stores his personality and his composer there was a time for that and thus it ended seven days ago god are we trying to be poetic yeah let's keep it short and simple totally absolutely indeed let's back off but there is no breath to catch yep. Only the cadaver filling the air. Yeah, let's end this examination. Hmm. The steel reinforced bed mm -hmm. presents a unique challenge. Yep. I brought chain cutters, but I don't see a good angle of approach to the belt. He doesn't actually think the challenge is unique. He thinks it's frustrating, annoying, and harder than he thought. The cadaver is a good 1.2 meters up. Mm -hmm. Neither one of us can reach the belt without assistance. And even if we do, there's the question of cutting the okay. airship strength material. Okay, fair point. I mean, we could use... Okay, I'm thinking about what if we use the cutters and Kim gets on my back and... Yeah, okay, that I don't know. Uh, Kim, what? Are... Kim, are you strong? Okay, I feel like I would actually crush him, actually, if I, if I get on his back. <laughs> uh... Hmm. <laughs> oh, I, I was about to say, could we stop it? <laughs> I, I I swear I was a, I was I had that on my mind. I was like, oh hey, what if we toss a chainsaw at the branch from the roof over there? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, although to be honest, if we were to cut off the branch, I think that might be bad considering the fact that it might actually crush the body. I'm just, I'm just saying that's just like that wouldn't be a good idea. Like yeah, climb up there and. So the branch? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a bit dangerous, you know? There has to be a less risky yeah, way. Okay. With less falling down of trees. Yeah. Can't someone else do it? Probably not. 
Seems like a lot of hassle. Let's not do it. Maybe we can shoot. Yeah, yes, shoot him down. <laughs> Ah, fuck off, you old twat. Hull. Where the buckle ties the rope to the branch. Right. That's a good spot to aim. Really? I mean, yeah, there, there's like a little... It looks like it's about the fall. Point to it, the buckle holds the belt together. I don't know, just shoot up maybe. Okay, well, not the branch. That will get us nowhere. Uh, yeah, the buckle that holds the belt together. Where? Ah, yes, I see. Yeah, there you go. If the shot hits that, there might be a chance to relieve the Yeah. Band. Yeah, now we're talking. Entertain a Kuno with some shit. Shut up, Kuno. No miss. The pigs will miss Kuno. Okay, that's it. Just because you said that, I'm going to put some leveling up in accuracy. Uh, take the shot, Lieutenant. Uh, what's the worst thing that could happen? Do you have your gun, Kim? <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, say nothing. Let him choose. I don't know if that's a good idea, because like, okay, here's the thing. I don't have my gun because I learned that yesterday it was sold off in the pawn shop, and we don't know the person that has it. And second, I. Not, 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 not to like knock at Kim for wearing glasses, but we did have to point out the fact that, you know, that belt buckle, he didn't see at first, because, yeah. I, I'm just saying. Uh, I'm trying to, like, think about this thoroughly. Uh, let's take the shot. What's the worst that could happen? Well, the worst that could happen is that we end up damaging the body. Or we miss. And I don't want to trust myself because I am drunk. Well, not drunk, but I, I mean, I'm kind of recovering. Just, I think my accuracy is actually a four right now. Uh, yep. My, where's my accuracy? Look at my perception before. So, so. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to do that with my current... Yeah. Maybe we should let him choose. Silence. With his elbow sharp, the lieutenant oh unzips oh. and produces a lightweight oh, oh firearm. No. He drops a paper cartridge in the barrel, separates the scouring stick, okay, and he's gives actually the cartridge gonna do it. five tucks. You know, I, I, su surprise me, Kim. Securing it in place. That's a Kiel A9090 okay. armistice, mass-produced muzzle loader, yeah. ascetic, frugal, one of the most common firearms in the world. He then steps back and assumes the fellow's stess position, taking aim. The corner of his eye twitches. His finger is on the trigger. I feel like I should say nothing, just to let him concentrate. The kid's voice is drowned Fuck. in a shrill blast that echoes off the walls Damn of it. the surrounding tenements. A cloud of smoke slowly parts in the air as the lieutenant steps back and says to himself, God damn it. Uh, yeah, I kind of figured. A lot of things were wrong with that shot. The fellow's stess was the wrong choice. His shoulders were raised, but above all, he cannot trust his eyes. Yeah, like I said, he's wearing glasses. <laughs> Kuno could have hit it easy, but then Kuno's not fucking handicapped. Nah, uh, it's it's okay, man. Kuno's sorry too. Kuno feels sorry for the Beano clad. Yeah, shut the fuck up, Kuno. The lieutenant doesn't say a word, just looks at the gun in his hand. Just what now? I have to say, it's beginning to look unlikely we can get him down with all the assistance. Yeah. You know, you don't feel like too bad of a shot yourself. I I don't have my gun. And I I feel like I shouldn't. He'll pro Kim does probably won't trust me with his gun. Yeah, let's have another look around. Hmm. Let's actually hold on. The man before you is naked, but for a pair of underpants. And yes, we do. 
Mm. Maybe we can ask for help from the harbor. I was really hoping we wouldn't. Yeah. The okay. Union appear to be suspect in this case. It seems like a dangerous route to go down. I would really prefer if there was another way. These people might have an agenda. Well, what else can we do? Co commit to it? Yeah, wait, let's reconsider. Consider the other options for it. Yeah, well, let's commit to okay. it. Okay. They do have the tools and the map. Yeah. And since it looks like they put him there... They can get him down, too. <sighs> okay. Let's do it in the lousy, okay. dangerous way. Good job. Good job we found our way into the harbor. Hooray for us. Let's get to it. Who cares about the danger? That's what we cops are about. Alright. I hope that area is not clo- Okay, it's still open. Good. Yeah, I was afraid me messing around with the corpse would- I would end up wasting too much time. How about how about some pocket change? Yeah. Let's take a look around. Mm-hmm. Alright. Want some tobacco and yeah. Hello. I've got nothing to say to you. Okay. What? Okay, sure. Sure. Quote unquote gardener. This is where you say your bed. Uh huh. Detective. Yeah. You can talk about that man hanged out back. Oh, this is about yeah. him. A real looker, that one. You're sure taking your time. Waiting for him to get ripe and pretty for you, huh? Yeah, well, he's pretty secured up there. Oh, he was a real pretty boy by now. Real hot stuff. Letting out that pretty boy smell. Time to go to work in the shit factory! Easy, boys. Mm -hmm. These janitors have a hell of a job cut out for them. I mean. I wouldn't go in there for a million. Oh, you totally would. You might want to start asking your questions now. It's not going to get better than this. Do a head count first. Yeah, scan the Connect room. these men to the tracks you saw in the yard. Starting from the right. Uh -huh. Boot size, 44. Blonde man, in his 30s. Overbearingly masculine. Sitting on his right. Standard working boots. Size 45 or 46. Eldest in the room. Uh -huh. Probably mid 50s. Smoker. Quiet. Yeah, he's pretty old. Across at the other table. Hobnailed working boots. Size uh -huh. 43. Gang tattoos. Mesk or Sarah Maritzian in his late 30s, early 40s. He spent his youth in Villa Labos, a housing project in the Jamrock Quarter. There were incarcerations. Uh, Hard to say what else. The ink is fading. And then, standard working boot. Steel mm -hmm. reinforced toes. Size 46. The big dick. Wide at the shoulders and lean at the hips. Rugby cap. Fingerless gloves. And numerous scars. A little under 40. The emblem on his vest says Rowan Club. A little patch below it reads T. Hardy, Captain, in the far corner. So you have a leader. Standard working boot. Steel reinforced toes. Size 44. 40 something. Non alcoholic right. beverage in hand. You squint. Is that a plectrum? Plectrum? Where? On his neck. Oh. Forget it. It's not important. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Let's call this one the musician. The musician and the little guy. Size 41 oh. with the light step. Not a child after all. An older man with a rat face, mean, watery eyes mm -hmm. and two front teeth missing. In the middle, heaving and wheezing. Big guy. Boot size 46. Deep marks. Probably mm -hmm. carried the victim over. He alone is 130 kilos. 
Add the man in armor, and you could easily exceed 220. In conclusion, these seven are the actors on the crime scene. The footprints were theirs, but there's a discrepancy. One of them is missing, the odd soul. Exactly. You've stood there for about four seconds, not saying anything. Hit them with questions. Where's the eighth Hardy? The fuck is with you, fella? Yeah. Yeah, where's the eighth Hardy? What are you talking about, madman? There's yeah. no eighth Hardy, boy. There's seven of us and we're all here. Or what? You want to be the eighth Hardy, boy? We ain't hiring. Actually, boss, we've been talking and we think she could maybe... She? She? Yeah. So there's an eighth Hardy and it's a Hardy girl? A Hardy, yeah. Who might it be? Elizabeth? The gardener? Shut the fuck up, Glenn! I do the talking here. Now what the fuck do you want, cop? It has to be good if he won't let you pursue uh, it. I am doing Looks well. Looks like the lieutenant thinks mm -hmm. so, too. Uh, yeah. So let me get this straight. There is an ace hardy boy. Yeah, it seems to be. And you don't like us talking about her? Would she have have to ha was was she at the pawn shop yesterday? That's right. We're not talking about this. I, it, this is I, a private this, hardy boys matter. Are you sure? Nothing to do with your shit. And because I was told that a female came out of the pawn shop with my gun. You're not cops here. Don't go digging around if you don't want a bullet in the back of your head. I'm watching you. Yeah, what kind of firearm do you have, eh? Good. We are all watching each other. Officer, your question. Yeah, did you do it? The pretty boy. You guys really love talking about that pretty boy. I mean, I had to do an autopsy on him. Funny. But my partner and I have a serious matter to discuss with you. Why, why, why there's a container belt around the dead man's neck? And it's an in investigation. Pretty much just detective game. Uh, yeah, there was a container around the dead man's neck. Or container belt. Container belt? Like we use in the harbor? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like what you use in the harbor. Because we took it. Yeah? the harbor where we work. Then yeah? Then we went out back and used it to hang him. Uh-huh. Now, what would your boss say about this? We did this. Together. All of us. It's kind of funny how you admit it so easily. Dead. That's why. There's a container belt around his neck. There's a catch hidden somewhere. Yeah, there is definitely a catch. could take them all away. It's too simple. Yeah, there really is. There is no catch. These seven honest men have all equally come forth to tell you what happened, so that you don't waste any more of your time. But why? All seven together. They're diluting responsibility. It's an anti-arrest. Just like that, right? No, no remorse? How many people have you sent to the Shays? Ever felt remorse for them? No. Shays Electrique is the method of capital punishment in Revachol under the coalition. During the suzerain's reign, it used to be the firing squad. Are we talking about just killing in general, or are we talking about locking them up? Or send them to reunion to rot. Okay. For 20 years. I mean... For life. Yes, but they were, I mean, yes, but they were all bad people, criminals, the scum of the earth. Uh, look, I'm just doing my job. And reunion, what's that? Um, for what we do is different, we enforce the law, you just kill people like it's nothing. Honestly, I drink too much, I can't really remember anyone I've sent behind. Okay, let's, let's not admit the fact that we have a bit of amnesia due to the fact that we drank too much. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. Oh, so you are just a simple, well-meaning man, eh? Ever been in solitary? Prison is a charter. That's what it is. So is hanging a man. Yeah. Slowly, without breaking his neck. Yeah. 
Mm, when did this hanging incident occur? You don't have to answer any of his questions. Just what? I know, Lizzie. Like, what do you Relax. mean? We killed him last Sunday night. How uh, seemed like a good way to end the week. How long have you known this victim? Known him? We don't associate with scum like that, asshole. Oh, okay, thank you for answering, Glenn. Yeah. Who do you think we are? I mean, well, the fact that you guys literally ad are admitting to murder right now, I mean... Quiet. <laughs> he came around about three weeks ago when that Pines cow first sailed into town. Happy? By the Pines cow, <clears throat> I mean <throat> representative for Wild Pines. The shipping company you are striking against. <clears throat> no. I mean the Pines cow. The stupid ass cow they sent in to fuck us over. Yeah. But you know what? What? Why don't you ask her about the pretty boy? I'm sure she has interesting things to say when you ask her hard enough. That's enough insinuation for today, Titus. Officer, her, her, you talking about the gardener? The interview is drawing to an end. Don't waste your last questions. Why'd you kill him? How'd you kill him? Okay, well, we know how'd you kill him. You just hung him. Or probably strangled him. Yeah, that's why I got from the autopsy. Oh, uh, why? Why? Because he was worthless mercenary scum. Mercenary. And he stepped oh. out of line. I mean, it does explain the in armor. In my town. In your town. So what, what are you saying? You're to Sarah for this place? Glad we cleared that up. So am I. Yeah. Now, how about you get the fuck out of my town? He killed the guy for stepping out of line. What? Is Mr. Titus Hardy here a fascist? No, sir. Mm. He is not. Get to the bottom of it. Ask yeah. again. I'm going to ask you again, Titus. Why'd you kill him? Why? Because he was worthless mercenary scum. So he was just mercenary? He stepped out of line. Is that it? My town. And he stepped out of line. Yeah, you said that twice. What kind of mercenary? Yeah, what kind of line are we talking? The kind that shows up when you start a strike. The experienced no? kind, too. Had Kohoi and Semenine okay. written all over him. ex oranese special forces. You know a lot about this dude. A live grenade. Right here in our bar. I can't prove it. But I know. He was sent by the Wild Pines. I like how you're... Hire merch oh. shit like that. Story of every strike from here to huh. Sahara. I like how your boys are just spitting out information. I kind of want to see if I can provoke them a bit more. Hold on. How did you even know? I put what you did. Eh, no. It's... Well, well, hold on. How do you even know he was Special Forces? Because one night, he walked straight yeah? up to the mic and said, I'm on these goddamn Special Forces, and I'm going to fuck you all. Okay, I see. So he was hostile. Really? Oh. Yeah, really. Had a gin and tonic up there, sang some r and paratrooper song, mm. and said he's gonna fuck everyone. Okay, uh, literally or figuratively? We couldn't believe it either, but he fucking did. Right there. Like some kind of animal. So, f so physically? Sire, the tale is true. This is a serious violation of the karaoke code. Right. What? Um. Okay. Besides the crimes against karaoke, what did he actually do wrong? But okay. Let's see. Let's try to get a bit specific here. Wrong. Yeah. He harassed women. Rape oh. Women, okay. Okay. Harassed workers. Threatened to kill some. Okay. As a warning. Uh. Thank you for the specifics. From rape to harassment okay. wow. to threats of violence. Why the strange de-escalation? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like they're trying to, like, lie about this. You know, go with something, like, very heavy, but then try to go a bit down. Yeah, de-escalate. They kill us all if we don't open the gates. What? If we don't let the scabs in. What do you mean? What do you mean? Bend over. What do you mean? Be before he started coming here. Have you seen the man who guards the gates? He's, yeah. 
Like I had to get I had to like get into the race war theory to even convince him to open it for me. Yeah. He said it was his favorite joint now. Huh. He started to come in here every night. Drinking, grabbing girls. Okay. Grab one of ours mid karaoke right there on the stage. Oh wow. I didn't expect this meant much details, but you know it's all part of the investigation. He grabbed someone? Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. This girl's on the mic. A beautiful girl. Young. Okay. Gets into the second verse of Love a Lake. The fucker grabs her legs, starts screaming. Huh. So he has a leg fetish. Show me your cunt. Why don't you show me your cunt? Ooh. Then, he gets knocked on the head with a wine bottle. Doesn't even fall down. Really? Huh. So, was this the same girl who was sexually assaulted? Uh, you say? Aren't you fucking listening? My man is talking to you. He took care of it. They got the girl out before anything else could happen. Oh, that, that is nice of you folks. Yeah, me and Eugene got around. Aren't you fucking listening? Okay, but... There's something odd here. Yeah, it is. Seems like they don't want to talk about that rape Titus mentioned. Yeah. This is a serious allegation. Make them talk about it. We should. Right, but who did her then? This is honestly a very serious allegation. No, you're not getting a name. That's a Martinez matter, and I'm not discussing it with you, Clarence. Mm. There's nothing you can do for now. He's stonewalling you. Yeah, he is. Okay. Okay, it's kind of, okay, this is kind of a hard predicament, you see here. But, okay. Uh, uh. Like, mm, I can't tell if they're lying about it, though. They, they could be using this to cover it up. So who called the shots Are that night? Dead? There will be no singling anyone out. You can't arrest a hardy boy without arresting all hardy boys. Let's see. Do you think you could do that? <sighs> do you think you could arrest them all? Realistically, no. A trick question. Don't let her lead the conversation. Yeah, I we shouldn't address uh, we shouldn't address her. No, but seriously, who called the shots? <clears throat> who do you fucking think does? I'm going to guess. Okay, well, obviously not Elizabeth. You do. That's right, asshole. Yeah. Titus Hardy runs the Hardy Boys. Ain't that so, fellas? <laughs> I think you got your answer, Mr. Law. Okay. No, you did not get an answer. Titus does administrative work. He pushes paper, fills out forms. The others can't read. But on that night, they all acted as one man. Okay. How'd you kill him? We hanged him up by his neck until he got real still. Wasn't that obvious, copper? Didn't they teach you anything at the cop school, idiot? This is where an autopsy would come in handy. Uh -huh. You have to work with what you know. Yeah, we did do an autopsy though, so... We need more. Did you muffle him? Have you tried... Uh, we haven't heard any reports of screams. Yeah, that is true. Titus, you don't have to clarify anything. Oh, come on. We overpowered him. Okay. Dragged his unconscious body to the tree. Okay, so he was unconscious. Put a noose around his neck and hanged him till he was dead and steady. I mean, wouldn't he be already steady when he was unconscious, though? Then we left him uh. for seagulls, maggots, and you fucks. Make them a bit more uncomfortable okay, first. Okay, good idea. Then see if it all adds up. We, we should really try digging into this. It's, okay, our composer's a five. This isn't even. We could try going for a roll. Uh, wasn't he a trained killer from the... Yeah. If then, how did you manage to overpower him? Where did this overpowering happen? Things aren't quite right here, aren't they? Uh, let's, let's, let's try rolling. Yeah. Titus is solid as a rock. 
and so are a few others. But who's cracking under pressure? First, tell me who saw who sold solid. Elaine, who looks like he might mm. be Titus's right hand man, the least antsy of the bunch. Ooh. Definitely not his first time being questioned. But this little rat-faced fellow is solid too. Mm -hmm. Always fidgety, yes, but no change there. Okay. So Alan might be the one we could probably... Okay, let's go through all of them first. Him neither. Mostly keeps to his tomato juice, or whatever he's got there. He's cracking under pressure. <laughs> okay, then. Yeah, this one. He's sweating profusely and has difficulty breathing, and they're smartly kept him out of the conversation thus far. Ah, I see. Ah. Definitely the weakest link in the chain. Okay. A single sentence would wear him out. He can't take the length uh -huh. of the question. Keep it going long enough, and he'll crack. All right, all right. Hmm. Hey, you big guy. You have trouble breathing over there? No. Mm -hmm. Of course he's having trouble breathing. Just look at how fucking fat he is. <laughs> Fuck off, Shanky. Angus is a powerful guy. All muscle. Keep your eye on this yeah. powerful guy. Oh, Sooner that. or later, he's going to break like a piece of twig. Indeed. Uh, wasn't he a trained killer? If yes, then how did you manage to overpower him? With numbers, asshole. How do you think? You're right, Lizzie. I've done enough explaining here. No, he hasn't. No, you're not. Not yet. Not yet. Where did this overpowering happen? Aren't you fucking listening? The fucker came to our bar. It happened right here. So in the bar? There's something that you're not telling me. And fuck you too, copper. Picking on Angus like this. We're done with this schoolyard shit. And just so you know, he doesn't have trouble breathing. Uh-huh. This one is a stone wall. You yeah. won't get more out of them about the night of the murder. Uh, yeah. Not yet. All right, I got other questions. Like what, copper? Yeah. So what are we going to do now? I mean, we could try provoking. I'm afraid he might try to knock the shit out of me if I step closer to him. So I might want to be a bit careful. Ah, eh, fuck it. Why don't I just arrest you? Yeah, lawman. Why don't you? He takes a step closer, fixing his ball cap. It's almost an anthropological sight, watching him try to assert dominance over you. Not in the arresting mood? By your side, the lieutenant keeps his hand away from his holster. You hear the nylon of his coat hiss as he steps closer. While the little rat-faced man reaches into his sleeve, there's a knife in there. Uh, Some of the others reach for their belts. Okay, their okay. eyes are light. Okay, easy now. Let's, let's let's talk. Wise move. Yeah. You made the right choice there. Yeah, so next thing you know is this... Now make another one. Yeah, it was going to be like get a... Get the fuck out All of right. our booth. Alright. I was not going to do this again. It was about to become a knife fight all of a sudden. Like that one scene. In oh, oh, oh that one that one fourth Indiana Jones movie at the beginning with the diner yeah <laughs> the fucking knife fight okay uh, <clears throat> uh so what are we going to do now nothing no your investigation here is done okay. leave Martinez go back to your stations where you belong well it's not that easy you see we have to get the body down. <laughs> You, are you off? Can, can I? Can you help guys help me get the body down? I yeah. think we're going to stick around. Yeah. Some things don't add up. Here, it really I doesn't. Guess. The fact that they would admit this easily to murder. I've done this job for long enough mm -hmm. to know that people don't just confess to yeah, first degree murder. They really don't. Even if it is a group responsibility, we're going to look into this. Good luck with that. You've heard everything a rent a cop is going to hear from <laughs> us real law officials oh man my authority is so low yeah 
Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's... Okay. Can we talk to you? I've got nothing to say to you. Are Why you... are you wasting your time? Well, I was gonna say, are you the hardy girl? I mean, I'm, I doubt it to you. Uh, what if I want to talk to you, not Titus? What you want is of no significance, okay. officer. Are you Don't the test your authority? Are you the hardy girl? I am not. Okay. You could be lazy. You could be anything. You could even be a model. Hmm. Even a mod? Glenn, I went to law school. I am an attorney. He's right. With a face like that, she could be on the cover of Le Debutante International. Mm. Do we, uh, how, how is, how, how's my seduction? That was a suggestion. <laughs> Hold on. Uh... He's right, you know. Yeah. The cold look in yeah. her eyes speaks louder than words. She is not amused. Good. It's not her. She's not yeah. a hardy girl. Definitely. Okay, maybe we'll talk later. Okay, well, I mean, we kind of got somewhere. This kind of. Okay. Well, anyways. Probably gonna have to go talk, ask around. In just a moment. Oh. She's agitated. Yeah. Judging from the way she keeps pulling at the frayed edge of her blanket. Really? And there's no public phones nearby? The closest phone oh. booth is down the coast. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. It's fine, I understand. Thank you anyway. Good day, madam. I'm glad to see you again, dear. Please don't trouble yourself about me, sweetie. Okay. I was just hoping to make a call, but the Whirling's phone line isn't working. The mm -hmm. union office probably has a phone, but I can't really get there. Or to the phone booth down the coast. And Gary's phone mm. is dead, too. Okay. Hey, what's wrong with the phone lines? The manager was vague about it. Why would he be vague about phone problems? This is something to look into later. Why Ask did God, he maybe. use the phone anyways? To let the young woman who's house-sitting for us know that we may be delayed. Morel, um. my husband, and our friend Gary were supposed to get back by Monday night. But they're still missing, and I haven't heard from them. I was also hoping she'd heard from Morel. A little missing persons puzzle might just be the thing to take your mind off the hangover. Yeah. Okay. So we got like a we got a dead man and now we got a missing man. Uh mm. okay, I'll bite. Yeah, has your husband gone missing before? That's just it. This isn't like him at all. He always plans his expeditions so carefully. But you have more important things to worry about. More important than a missing Expedition. Uh -huh. I don't know. I don't Expeditions know. Expeditions often lead to something interesting. Yeah. Next thing you know, we find out that your husband's cheating on you. Possibly. Yeah, I've listened to too many Reddit stories. Uh, what's this expedition your husband was on? Just some field work, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Morel is a highly trained scientist. Really? He and his assistant Gary are studying an extremely rare species of insect. Insects. But they should have returned by now. Really now? They were just going down the coast across the water lock to set a few traps. He said they'd be back on Monday. What could be keeping them? The water lock that was broken. Could this be it? Wait, so who's this Gary person? Do you trust him? Oh, sweetie, it's nothing like that. Gary's as loyal as they come. I trust him with my husband's life any day. Okay. 
Uh, the water lock on the other side of the coast is broken. They probably just struck over there. Oh my. What happened to the water lock? Probably just some technical problem. Well, uh -huh. whatever the cause, I'm thankful to both of you. You've spared me another sleepless night. You are welcome, madam. You're welcome, ma'am. I hate to ask, but if your investigation takes you to the other side of the coast, please do keep an eye out for my husband. Okay. Yes, some left field scientific research is mm. exactly mm -hmm. what you need right now. Funk up that vanilla murder investigation. Sure thing. And if you see him, let him know Lena is waiting for him here at the Whirling. All right. He gets so tangled up in his work that he may not know the oh. water lock's been repaired. I'll let it's a, cold out uh, there. Okay, I'll, I'll let them know that you're here. Oh, you're such a dear. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sweetie. So, uh, let's get some more details, though. Uh, so your husband is some kind of scientist? Oh, yes. A zoologist. Zoologist. A crypto zoologist, to be more precise. Cri crypto? Okay, well, this is the 50... Well, this is 1951, so... Yeah, it's no crypto scam like nowadays, but what's a cryptozoologist? It's a pseudoscience that attempts to legitimize research into mythological beasts oh. and urban legends. Thank you, Kim. That's uh, one opinion, yes. And people are entitled to their opinions. She's used to playing off such insults casually, but they still affect her. Mm. My apologies, ma'am. Oh. I did not mean to undermine your hobby. It's not a hobby, dear. It's a subfield of zoology, one specializing in animal species that are so exceedingly rare that many assume them to be extinct or even fictitious. Mm -hmm. Searching for such species called cryptids is difficult and often thankless. And frankly, many scientists are too lazy to do it. Universities these days are rarely interested in supporting real research. So what you're saying is that your husband's in for a Loch Ness monster? The quality of research mm. at Revisholian universities mm -hmm. has been on the decline. Okay, my suggestion but is you zero. Doubt there was ever a time when cryptozoology mm. was embraced by the academic elite. Okay, I, I kind of get confused when they say crypto and cryptid. Like I know what I know what, the, what they mean by cryptid, but yeah. Uh, tell me more about this rare insect your husband is looking for. Oh, sweetie, it's fascinating. But I shouldn't bore you with entomological uh -huh. minutiae. The lieutenant gives you a sideways glance. Uh, you're right, I don't have time for insect. Uh, I want to know about the insect. Well, it's a phasmid, technically, but... Uh -huh. Ah, yes, phasmatodia. A diverse group of insects whose bodies resemble twigs, leaves, that sort of thing. Ghost insects, colloquially. Where other phasmids imitate sticks or leaves, this one's a living reed. It disguises itself among the reeds here on the Insul Indian coast. Hence its name, the Insul Indian Phasmid. Perhaps you'll end up co-discovering the Phasmid with us, officers. I knew it. We're going to be chasing made-up insects with cryptozoologists. It's not made up, officer. I can assure you. It's simply elusive. So much so that most establishment zoologists doubt it exists at all. Mm, you know if it's dangerous? <laughs> not at all. Why else would it hide itself so carefully? Is it valuable? Oh, I doubt it. Oh. No one gets into cryptozoology for the money, sweetie. I'm... Uh, oh, boy. Wait until you hear about the 21st century. <clears throat> oh, boy. Does it have cool powers? Yes. It oh. can blend in almost perfectly among the reeds. It's how it stayed hidden all these years. Are we talking about a chameleon? even. Wait, um, okay. Uh, what do you think uh, this phasmid is around here? Well, some teenagers making out in the reeds saw one. They, they didn't know what it was, of course, uh -huh. but there was a brief article in a local newspaper about their encounter with 
a ghost insect that looks like the reeds. Gary sent us the clipping. So a newspaper clipping is all the evidence you have? Of course, most Rasmus sightings okay. turn out to be false alarms, but their description matched the Insul Indian Phasmid perfectly, and they didn't even know what they were looking at. Enthusiasm has wiped the worry from her face. Mm -hmm. Her eyes sparkle behind her glasses. And you seem really excited. I suppose I have something of a personal connection to the Insul Indian okay. Phasmid. All scientists have their little hobby horses. Okay, so what's so special about this stick bug then? Oh dear. I'm afraid I'm not explaining this very well. Oh. It is very special. Morel can explain it all much better. I wish you could hear him describe mm. it. Then you'd understand, I'm sure. Okay, tell me more about this Morel. Oh dear. I'm not sure where to begin. What does your husband look like? Hmm. Well, his expression is slightly grumpy, but his eyes are always bright and curious, like a small boy's. And his palms are quite coarse from all the field work, but he's quite gentle. You can't go around forever short feeling grown men's hands. Yeah. If you want to find her husband, you'll need more concrete information yeah like hand holding's not gonna cut it <laughs> just you know uh, let's try again why, why don't you try describing him as you would like one of your cryptids oh well yeah. he's a bit shorter than you but with a larger frame and he has longish white hair usually a bit uncombed you might say wild even okay the lieutenant pulls out his notebook and begins jotting down the woman's description. One other thing, he'll likely have all kinds of field gear on him, even if he's not out in ah. the reeds, you know, just in case. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I think that I think that should be it. Like, I don't, I don't know why we would ask how long you've been married. Yeah. We'll be celebrating our 16th anniversary this Aw, congratulations. Not the most numerically satisfying anniversary, but I like the less obvious milestones even more somehow. Okay, I really feel like we shouldn't be asking, like, how they two meet. Like, I don't know if this is really, you know, to the whole person, I mean, trying to find them. I don't know if it really has anything necessary. By a dating agency, okay. I'm ashamed to say. Oh, wow. I was looking Those to get back, back into then? the scene after recovering from my accident. And he just Dang. divorced. Oh, wow. So this is a pretty much Tinder, but in the 51. We hit it off, uh -huh. and, well, here we are. Mm-hmm. She's skipping over some important parts. Yeah. Perhaps you'll find out more later. Yeah, okay, that's all the details. I hope I've been useful. That's all for now, ma'am. Okay, now, how's your bird? You should totally sing karaoke here, the first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. Really? <laughs> People need to know your vast oceanic soul. Well, you know, my soul is immense. Utterly. And it needs to be heard through a PA system by other people. Alright. Uh, what should I sing when it comes to it? This goes well to your theory developing that I'm down on my luck superstar persona. Uh, you should sing the sad small church song from that tape you found. Thought it was obvious. Okay, of course. Serves them right. Wipe that smirk off their face with your sad, tragic song. Who's laughing now? No one. You would need another copy of the tape first, though. Oh. The one upstairs is destroyed. Yeah. Who is mistakenly identified as a cop for his prominent jawline? Yes, sounds mm -hmm. likely. You should probably go on stage and pose for a moment when you're done with this thought. Finish thought. Let's go pose. Can I? And the game says no. Okay, so anyway, where were we? Uh, Can I help you? I'm going to sing karaoke. Absolutely out of the question. Okay. Absolutely in <laughs> the question. <laughs> First we find mm, a sad yeah. banger. Then we sing this place to shit. Yeah. 
Oh man, it's like you're saying no, but my mind's telling me yes. Your body is ready, sire. So about my bill for tonight. Twenty real. Yeah, we might as well pay in advance. I already have like over 116 already. Good. You there got go. the room for the night, but remember, you'll need another 20 real All tomorrow. Right. All right. Goodbye. And so we could nice that we can actually pay our bill just during the day. Mm-hmm. Alright. Yeah, that sleeping man is... Okay, I think he's right there. Alright. Well, let's get going. Maybe we'll go find something out here. I should probably maybe go on the other side. Recycling bag. Now I can go pick up bottles. Oh, I can't pick it up. Yeah, actually, hold on. What if I equip the bag in my inventory? Yeah, sweet. It, it was just right there. All right. Uh, oh, hey, look, a can. Perfect. Now we can easily go pick up just any junk we can find. Okay, I was going to go this way. Hmm. Uh, okay, so we can't go across from here. Uh, let's go this way. Mm -hmm. Oh, a can. Alright, let's keep going. Oh. Yeah, someone did it. Is that paint or is it blood? It's probably paint. Just looking at it. Oh, perfect. Hey, up here, Pico. What? Excuse me? Oh, I oh I see you. Can I talk to you from up here? The streets will oh. flow red once more. A great torrent. Rushing down Rue de Esperance. Uh, you wait and see. The streets will not flow red with anything. Who are you? I'm Cindy the fucking Skull. What else do you want to know? Date of birth, blood type. The uh, last time I was tested for Hep C. I'll start with your blood type. <laughs> yeah, like on the topic of blood, what's your blood type? Go where? Accosting a minor? Listen to your partner, pig man. Keep your grubby hooves off little old ladies. Uh. A brush? An artist? Oh. The red splatter is urban expressionism. Let me see. An artiste, you could say. You keep looking off to the side, what you're looking at? The lieutenant furrows his brow at another one of your eccentricisms. Oh, that's a boat. Hatred, disgust, it's difficult to tell which of the two is more present in her girlish features. The woman on the boat does not notice her steering. That Ozon her. Someone's got to keep an eye on her. Ozon is an archipelago, two days travel away from Rivershot. 
Okay. Its moneyed residents used to posh restaurants and so, upscale boutiques rarely have reason to visit Martinez. Who is she? Probably the Wild Pines rep. Oh. We should talk to her. She's a professional negotiator, though. I have the feeling she will be very cooperative while telling us nothing. You should take the lead. Ask mm -hmm. her unexpected questions, you know? Do your thing. Don't be afraid to get a bit wacky. Throwing her off is our best bet. Okay. Good idea, piggies. Run along now. Fuck her shit up good. Impound that boat while you're at it. I'd uh, like to watch you swim back to Ozon. Well, do you know anything about the recent murder? I ain't no snitch, pigstein. Go forth and forage in someone else's shit. No shortage of squealers in these parts. Actually, there is a shortage of people who talk to us in a normal, calm, informative mm. manner. Uh, thank you, Kim. We weren't put on this earth to make your life pleasant. Fucko. Okay, well, okay, well, um, what are you doing to the wall? Can't you tell? I'm painting a beautiful mural, an aerial graffitio visible from low orbit. I haven't really started it yet. I'm waiting for the right words. Are you so committed to defacing the building? This place is severely lacking in havoc. Not even the occasional trash can fire to break up the tedium. I thought I'd mix it up, you know, summon the forces of crime and social chaos with a wall-sized invitation. So you don't know how to write. Have you ever tried your hand at graffitio? When faced with a blank wall, most people write unimaginative stuff, like pigs go home and Mono is here. Spray cans didn't exist at the time. <laughs> We rarely see pigs around here, uh -huh. though. Just union cabs. And my name's not Mona, so... Yeah? Uh, I love doing public art. Don't mind us. Keep on doing what you're doing. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to stop this hooliganism, though they they won't. Actually, I don't have an opinion I lied. Uh, just, yeah, keep up the public art. Thanks. I'm sure the inspiration will come to me. Now that I have an official RCM stamp of approval. Yeah, that's probably going to make us look bad with the, our boss, but I uh, probably should get on the good side of the locals. She means the opposite. Yeah, okay, fine. All right, catch you later, Cindy. Watch your back, ungulate. You've got eyes on you. Okay. Uh, that being supporting would help. Let me actually look. Okay. Access the harbor and ask for erupt clears help. Okay, we got a lot to do. We had to do Monday that we didn't really do. A striking woman leans against the cabin top mm -hmm. of her sailing boat, smiling as you approach. Her green raincoat glistens with droplets. A silk scarf is tied around her throat. Good morning, officers. I'm Joyce. Joyce L. Messier. I represent the board of Wild Pines, the owners of the harbor. You gentlemen must be from the RCM. Mm. How would we shake her hand? Like, do you want me to jump on the boat or something? Uh, what does the L stand for? What gave us away? Shake her hand, don't shake her hand. Uh, what gave us away? Nothing, honestly. I've said it to every drunk in town, and you're oh. the first one who's responded. Clever girl. Relax. She meant it in jest. All right. Beaten. My maiden name. Mm hmm. Take her hand. I'm glad to see you here. 
like steel. There is strength there. If she wanted, she could sink her nails deep into your skin. I was dispatched to handle a strike, not a lynching. Anything I can do to assist the RCM in this matter, I will, gladly. That is good to hear, yeah, madam. Thank you. My colleague will take the lead on this interview. Uh, okay. I should let you know that he is recovering from an unusual medical episode. Very unusual. But I can assure you of his ultimate competency. There's a trace of irony in his voice. Mischief, even. This is a tactic. It happens quicker than a shooting star. But did the lieutenant just wink at you? How interesting. I wish you a swift recovery. In the meanwhile, you have my full cooperation, and the full cooperation of the Wild Pines group. Hmm. You're on a boat. Why, yes I am. Does it have a name? The boat? No. It ah. is called Cordelati 19, because that's the type of sloop it is. Uh, let's conclude it. How do you like it? My sloop? I like it a lot. Uh -huh. It's the eel's hips, baby. I'm enjoying this part of the interview. It has so little to do with the murder we're investigating. Okay, okay, Kim, I get your sarcasm. Um... I mean, I mean, might as well just, you know, have a topic to talk about. Not a lot of boats, not a lot of people on boats are you, are there. Of course there are. We're yeah. on an archipelago. How else are you supposed to get around? Oh, wait, we're on an archipelago? Yes, we are. We are on Le Caillou. Technically, the neighboring Ozone and Fas Alamer island groups are archipelagos, mm. while Le Caillou, by contrast, is a single fertile landmass, the fourth largest island in the world. It is not an archipelago. Hmm. She nods attentively. Okay, might as well just conclude it about boats. Good. Mm hmm. Alright, um. Yeah, tell us about the strike. Everything. Right up to, but not including, trade secrets. Wait, what was... Uh, uh, what if I want to hear about the trade secrets? First, you'd have to repeal the Emergencies Act of Trade and Elements. That gives me the right to silence. Mm. It's quite the octopus. <laughs> An octopus, I'll slay it. Hmm. How do I repeal it, then? Why? by throwing off half a century of foreign domination mm. under the Coalition. Unfortunately for you, the Coalition also leases you the right to police West Revachol. Oh. You'd be shooting yourself in the foot, okay. in other words. Yes, leave it alone. But I am derailing us. You wanted to know about the strike. Uh, what's your role? I believe the official title is Senior Labor Negotiator. Oh. In practice, I'm a grocery clerk. I relay the Union's demands to Wild Pines and return with Wild Pines counteroffer. Hmm. And how are the talks going? They're not. That's the problem. The Union stopped all negotiations a week ago, huh. after that awful lynching took place. Wait. She just admitted that the lynching and the strike are... Aha! Uh -huh. Thank you. Now they won't even let me into the harbour. There's a okay. two meter twenty racist behemoth blocking the gates. Oh, you mean the me the, the the measure head? Yes, Jean Luc Measure Head. Yeah, I was able to go past him by just talking to him about race theory. Uh, so the strike is connected to the Linton. Yes, I believe there is a connection, but that's a subject for later. How about how will we talk about? How were the talks going before the lynching? Let's say I was not making the kind of progress I'd hoped for when I first arrived. And when did you first arrive? I arrived three weeks ago. Yes, in the middle of February. The bay was still partially frozen uh -huh. then. I prefer to do these things on site, like the RCM. But the strike began in December. I wasn't the original negotiator here. I took over after Mr. Gaumont hit a wall with Mr. Clare, the union boss. 
Mr. Clare refused to speak with Gaumont despite concessions he'd granted the Union in prior negotiations. This isn't the first time the Union has gone on strike? Heavens no. There have been two prior strikes. Both mm -hmm. times the Union won significant concessions, including overtime pay and a medical plan. This time their demands are more, I guess you could say, aggressive. Ludicrous even. It's meant. Mm hmm. Uh, let's see what happened to the previous person. Mr. Clare told him to. How did he put it? Fuck off, midget. Go Monty's short of stature, you see. Okay then. Yes. Keep in mind, this is a negotiator uh -huh. Mr. Clare has worked with before, and who was more than fair with him and the union. Wait, what are the actually demands of the mob? There are leaflets everywhere, and banners. Oh. What did they say again? Oh yes, every worker, a member of the board. Most what? of the workers probably don't know what that means. I don't know what to think about that. Over-aggressive commie posture... Seems like they have... Like they have no idea about business. In its defense, another said, demand democracy. Pretty tame stuff compared to every worker, a member of the board. Yeah, what does that even mean? I mean, I, I could literally sound like I don't know, or I could sound like they, they don't know. Hey, what does that even mean? I, even, it's I, I quite know. simple, you see. Every time the Wild Pines group makes a decision, about what? About anything, really. It needs the signature of each of the 2,200 oh. workers in its Martinez terminal. Oh, so a vote. Just so you understand, this is but one of 22 terminals owned by Wild Pines. Essentially, not only are they kings of the company, they are also kings of the 72,000 employees of Wild Pines Group. That is pretty funny. Like, okay, the workers can't be kings, a king, the king's a king, the king is dead, long live the workers, what are you going to do? That's uh, funny. They're having a blast. But how can they afford it? After four months, my uh -huh. assumption was they would prefer a more practical solution. So what are you going to do? I'm not sure. Naturally, I assume that was just their opening position. Oh. A hard-nosed tactic with a side of mockery. But there's been no follow-up, just the same nonsensical slogan repeated over and over again. And now, people are getting lynched, I hear. Behind the whirling in rags. A disastrous situation if there ever was one. Excuse me, from whom did you hear about this lynching? I first heard it from the boyer at the gates. The one whose very name advertises his aversion to work. I think he said it was... Call me Manana. This checks out. Mm -hmm. No, wait. The chief negotiator heard it from a man at the gates. Surely the Wild Pines group has more effective channels of information. After all, 2,200 people are on strike. This is a big deal for them. Yeah, like the scabs at the gate, did you put them there? The scabs? You mean the huddled masses of Jamrock? Come to plead for work where the union refuses to. Don't let her answer it herself. Yeah, you're right. I don't know what gotten into me. Some sort of degenerate dock worker limbo has rubbed off of me, it seems. Let's call them strike breakers. You put them there, right? No, I mean scare. Okay, well, it's not. Hmm. Uh, so maybe I should let her continue. Although my reaction speed is like, don't let her answer it herself. Yeah, you put them there, right? If these strike breakers were organized by Wild Pines or its affiliates, mm -hmm. then it would be a company secret. I could not share it with you. Oh. Not yet, at least. It's implied. Mm. She's open to discussing this matter with you yeah. at a later occasion. Okay. What do you think of uh, Evnart? Uh... Everard Clare hmm. is a man of the utmost integrity. If you can say one thing about him, it's that he always puts the interests of the workers first. 
Really? Of course not. Everard okay. is fantastically corrupt. I imagine he has a thick, viscous goo where you and I have blood. If you were to prick him with something sharp, you could see it oozing out. A knife, maybe? No, a rapier. Hmm, you sound like you're about to take a rapier to him. Oh, heavens no. We get along just fine. Oh. Yet, yeah, now that you mention it, I can't stop imagining that black treacle just dribbling down his double chin. Oh, uh, that's Sivart, all right. He is the most corrupt individual I have ever seen, and I deal with men like him for a living. If there is anyone more venal, more irredeemably nepotistic, then it's his twin brother, Edgar. Mm, I remember hearing something about this Edgar. Have you seen him? No. Edgar looks exactly like his brother, except for that lazy mm. eye. He also talks exactly like Everard does, mm -hmm. and when one's term as foreman is up, the other takes over. It's how they circumvent the term limits, you see, with a funny little switcheroo. While in office, they've embezzled God knows how much of their workers' dues. Okay, what about, let's go back to a strike. Of course. Um, so, actually, hold on. Ever? Of course. If you were to prick it with something sharp, you could see it oozing out. A knife, maybe? No, a rapier. He is the most corrupt individual I have ever yeah, seen, and I deal with men like him for a living. If there is anyone more venal, mm. more irredeemably nepotistic, have you seen him? I'd rather you tell me something else. Of course. Okay, that just changes that. Okay. Of course. How uh, else can I help? Tell me about the... Let's see, do you know someone... Some Something about these tattoos? I, should I... Mm. Should I mention about the lyn lynching first before I mention about the tattoos? It's like... Hmm. I mean... I guess? Quite a few things, I'm afraid. Really? The information I'm to share with you includes oh, sensitive trade secrets. For the sake of my employer, I have to ask for your names and badge numbers. Fuck. Of course, ma'am. We should have introduced ourselves. I am Lieutenant Kitsuragi from Precinct 57. And this is my colleague from Precinct 41, Detective Dubois. I'm afraid Harry doesn't have his badge at the moment. I hope mine will suffice. Oh. And what happened to yours, Detective? Remember when my partner told you I recently suffered from an unusual medical episode? Lost, my lost badge is related to it. I see. So, are you saying you lost your badge during the course of this episode? Uh, I could have eat, eaten it for all I know. I don't remember. Um, yes. I can't hear you, darling. Oh. Speak up, please. Ah, fuck. Should we be honest, or should we say that we probably eat it? Okay, if we ate our badge, it would have probably... I mean, first of all, we wouldn't be alive. We would have choked on it. Uh, it's possible after a night of heavy drinking, I lost my memory, my life, and, and the world. Oh, dear. Hmm. Some kind of encephalopathic amnesia. I don't even know how to respond. I do believe you, naive as that may sound. I simply can't imagine what you gain by faking such a condition. As I said, ma'am, his technique may be very unconventional, but he is an officer of the RCM. Of course, I sympathize, but I'm afraid I simply can't share anything uh, more until I've seen that badge. She's a professional negotiator. She should be open to some sort of mutually beneficial arrangement. Yeah, I can't really... I mean, my suggestion is pretty low. There's 17%. There's no way I can... Talk my way out of this, so I'll try to find it somehow. Of course. But before we do, officers, let me be perfectly clear. The situation is extremely volatile. The sooner we can speak okay. about this lynching business, the better for all of us. Uh, do you know about these tattoos? That's the man who was killed. Yeah. I'm afraid this is a discussion for once we've cleared the lynching question. Uh, God damn it. So you know something about the tattoos? Better not tie the force day to the mm. bat's day on this. I hope there is something else I can help you with. 
Okay, you know what? Tell me about the wild pines. What we do. I'm afraid I don't speak for wild pines as a whole. It, it's a giant undertaking. There was a touch of discomfort there. She wants to merely represent. What do they do? The pines' core competency is logistics. Container shipping, freight, that sort of thing. See those airships there, blinking? Those are the shipping side of things. Hmm. And that is the terminal. Another subdivision deals with energy, oil and gas exploration. Offshore platforms. The Wild Pines Group is one of the original Revisholian Indo tribes. Companies mm -hmm. awarded royal monopolies by the king, the suzerain himself, centuries ago. The king is long gone, but several of the Indo tribes remain. Who are the other intro tribes? You're in good company, it seems. How much money does the Wild Pines have? Okay, why do we have to be asking about money again? We've already covered our tab. Uh, you're in good company, it seems. Why, thank you. Mm -hmm. She nods. Yeah, you seem smart. I need someone to give me the lowdown of this reality we're this in. reality? Yes. Yes, reality is your side case. An experimental side case. Uh, and it's related to the medical episode. I have trouble remembering even the most basic terms of reality. Ah, mm -hmm. yes. The episode. Sounds like an acute case of encephalopathy, now that I think of it. Don't be faith, madame. He functions perfectly well. He only needs a lowdown on all of reality. We may be here a while, then. Ask away, officer. I'll help however I can. All right, we're in. I know these all look good, but begin with the first, okay? Okay, where are we? We're in Martinez, baby. And what is this Martinez? Martinez is a district of Revachol. Mm -hmm. A very small district tucked away near the industrial harbor, north of the 881 and Jamrock. Damn. It is interesting how we're just, it's like, when we start this game, we just know nothing. Just straight up, and now we're just trying to learn about everything. You would be excused for not knowing about it. Unimportant, they say. Forgotten, even. <sighs> Shelled to smithereens during the revolution. It has its charms, just not this time of year. <laughs> okay, um... Tell me about... Let's see, um... Okay, what is Martinet? What? Okay, we could continue it. Uh, you mentioned the sea. What's this? What sea is it about? Uh, wait, what sea is this? Hmm. Let's just continue it. Revachol. Revachol is what you call a city. What kind of city is Revachol? The great kind. What makes it great? History, detective. They built this city to resolve history. Our part in it, at least. Our centuries. Uh-huh. Who built the city? Was it on rock and roll? The nations of the Occident. Or migrant workers from Seminine and Il Mara, depending on your creed. Okay. Um... When was Revishoff built? In the DeLorean century. 380 years ago. And why will it resolve history? They say it's where the terrible questions of our time will be answered. The tensions are highest, the fault lines deepest. By that I mean conflicts. Ideological conflicts. The stuff of men. Why here? We are standing on a fertile, self-sufficient island able to sustain up to 200 million people in the uh -huh. middle of the Insulindic Ocean, the world's connective tissue. It's where the money is. Okay. Um... 
So we're in an unimportant part of the an important place. So we're pretty much at the center of the world. And probably center of the world. Oh, we're quite a way off. About a sparkle of lights on the horizon, like morning stars above the curvature of the planets. Twenty-two kilometers from the center of the world. Oh. That soldering iron is the bank of the world building. The bottom floors are Insiacom. Right, Coalition we... government in Silindian Mission Command. All right, we look at the Silence. Sea. She lowers her hand. The water, the mm. light. It's as though you're seeing it for the first time. There is no recognition. Only the immensity of the sea and the cold radiating from it. Where are we? I don't know any of this. Eh, let's observe the water. She observes your eyes scanning the horizon, oh. then breaks the silence slowly. This is one thought you need to complete. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Was there something else you wanted to know? I remember something about a lowdown. This has been informative. Thank you, ma'am. I'm sure my memory impaired partner has many more questions to ask about even more fundamental aspects of reality. Might I suggest not asking them all right now? Ma'am, Monsieur will be here later too, and tomorrow. Isn't that true, ma'am? Absolutely. My okay, commitment you're, you're right. here is long term. Uh, you're right, Lieutenant. I'll continue it's later. Not to eat mm -hmm. candy at once. Get off the Aldi lowdown. Indeed. I'm always at your service. Okay. Oh. Hmm. I don't know why it's very low in conceptualization. Hmm. Okay, well, anyways, let's, let's conclude. Glad to have been of assistance. The little that I uh, know. Anything else? By the way, I've talked to Ivart Claire. You have? Yeah. And how did you like Mr. Clare? Uh... <laughs> He's beautiful. <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's like... It's not that important. I was just doing my job. Of course, Detective. Excuse me for implying otherwise. The RCM does not pick mm -hmm. sides in this. Yeah. I hope it doesn't come off any other way. Of course. And I don't expect you to share anything he told you with me. I'm not a corrupt verm myself. How could I stop you? Are we not human? Are we not curious to hear another person's take? It's only natural. We would only be gossiping. Can I see your badge? Intellectually speaking, it would be quite interesting to hear what she has to say about okay. these things. Okay, fine. He's trying to help me find my gun. Oh. That's so helpful of him. The lieutenant looks at you, and you can swear his jaw muscle is trembling. He's able to contain the anger and surprise. Okay, yeah, I probably shouldn't have mentioned that. The conventional police officers sometimes lose their guns. They then go around and tell people about this, to gauge their reactions. It's all part of detecting. Incredible. Simply incredible. And how is it going? Has this detecting produced a gun? No, Mr. Rosa is almost ready to be found out soon. Did he now? Yeah. Yeah. Well, then it should be any day now. Unless, of course, he's lying to you. Anyway, Truly. was there anything else you've heard? Hmm. Perhaps he is. Hmm. I helped him turn up the heat on the brochure. Did you now? Mm-hmm. What sort of... Borscht is he making? The cook makes it up to be a striker. Make, like, uh, the cook makes it to keep the strikers drunk. Helps them, helps them strike. The strike brew. That's a classic. 
And by turn up the heat, I presume you mean put more alcohol in it? Vodka. Yes. Why, if I may ask, why make them more drunk? Aren't they corked enough already? Uh, yes, detective. What were you hoping to accomplish with this strange thing? Okay, turn down the heat. Uh, uh, I worship Al Ghul in many ways. Uh, it's uninteresting. I thought it would make the broth taste better. I mean, maybe. Uh, an act born of sympathy over the working man. I set fire to the fumes of struggle. Yeah, let's go with that one. Very curious. Uh -huh. A very curious thing to do. Truly. Uh -huh. But that's how he operates. He just does things, man. And then talks about them. Even if it's inappropriate. What else? Um... I'd rather talk about something else. Of course, Detective. Mm -hmm. Should something come up later down the road, right. don't be afraid to drop by for a chat. Until then, is there anything I can help you with? Uh, no, of course, thank Detective. You. <clears throat> Take care. All right. Wow. So someone's been a little boring. What? Yes, my standard liege. Someone seen all sorts of wild ideas pop off and thought, I'll take the boring one. The regular, please. The mm -hmm. brown. Kim, am I boring? You? I wouldn't worry about that. Okay. See? You're so regular and vinyl brown, he doesn't even want to talk to you about it. I like, I like standards, or look, I'm trying to do my job, no need for ex- yes. Yeah, of course you do. Let's get right to it. My lord's copper type mm -hmm. is regular cop. I'll let everyone know. I'll send that to Telefax. Yeah, yeah, how about you do that, drama? Or actually... Uh, probably actually, you know what? No, I don't need to keep that. No, yeah, let's keep that. Let's opt out of that. Good, good. Of course. Mm -hmm. To outright declare yourself something does seem a bit too interesting now, yeah. doesn't it? I won't trouble you any further. Okay, thank you, drama. In my head. I always select that one. Hey. Psst. Who, me? Yes, you. Word on the street is you're ready to start building communism again. Again? Yes, you're ready to start building communism again. You've built it before. They've built it before. Huh. Hasn't really worked out yet. But neither has love. Should we just stop building love, too? Love has worked out really well for me. I'm a love winner. Should I be lying to myself? Nah. Good. We need tender men like you building gargantuan communism. Word on the street is, it's going to be 10,000 times larger than any communism previously attempted by human beings. Yeah, get the fuck is out of right? here. Who's trying to creep up with me with your ideas? Myself? Oh, sweet. Magnesium. Man, I have like zero healing items at the moment. Oh, there's a door. Can we open it? Oh, wait. Okay. A sturdy metal door guards the southwest entrance uh -huh. to the apartment building. It's locked. The door rattles against your knuckles, but there's no response. The door rattles again, but this time, you hear an elderly woman's voice calling out from inside. Oh? Stop banging on the door! I'm not letting any more strangers inside. This is the police. <laughs> the police? Everyone knows the police don't come round here. It's cold. No. I already told you. I won't be responsible for any more strangers getting into the building. Go check the backyard door. Maybe someone there will. Uh-huh. Backyard door. 
There must be another entrance to the east. Came down with policemen. Madame, I assure you, we are real police mm -hmm. officers. There is no reply. Okay. Just faint sweeping sounds inside. Okay, let, let's go. Okay, we're getting nowhere here. Yeah, there's a lot of recyclables around here, though. But yeah. So far, it, like, there's really not that much on this side of town, but there's a lot on the other side. And we're just cleaning up the streets right now. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Mm hmm. All right. Uh, let's see now. Can I actually? Oh, okay. Actually, unlock a new slot. Really? Hmm. How about it? Okay, well, there's... Uh, I could pick one of these. Indirect mo modes of taxation, kingdom of consciousness. Mm-hmm. Temporary research, bonus, none. Uh, let's see, what, uh, what could I do? Negative two empathy, negative two half-life, calm water. Yeah, let's do... Kingdom of Conscience. Mm -hmm. The sight of bullet holes stirs something in you, making you forget the lieutenant's surname. Yeah, Kim, look, bullet holes. Where? Points to the chips on the wall. Someone has been shot. We're cops. We just solve it. There? Those are old. Oh. I mean, like from the revolution. Yes, the one that happened half a century oh. ago. Those okay. bullets were fired during the revolution and do not warrant an investigation by officers of civil law. Alrighty then. Let's... We should focus on present crimes. Yeah. From the present century. The reason why I didn't want you to go too deep into it. Have you no shame? Whining about your back every time you bring out the measuring tape. Rene. You are a man with a fork in a world of soup. Please, let's just try to enjoy the game, all right? I'm trying to, but you keep breaking my concentration. Mm -hmm. You're old. I can see that. We're both old. Now stop grabbing your ass like it's a girl. These manly men are playing balls. This is a ball game. Grab a ball and play it. Don't ask questions. All right. Shoot first. Ask questions ah, never. Okay, I got this. That's the spirit. Ooh, my hand-eye coordination. Don't waste your breath asking about the game. Yeah. They wouldn't know anyway. They're way past. Let, let's impress them. Look at this. Oh. Did I hurt myself? This felt Ow. wrong. Wrong like touching your sister's breast. What? You threw your sister's breast. <laughs> okay. Mon Dieu! Good job, officer. That was an excellent throw. Yeah, I feel like it. 
Why, why did it feel wrong? The throw was terrible, y you know, and I need to mock me. I thought something way more respectable would happen. And it felt wrong. Your muscle memory knew what to do and went for it. But there were gaps. It felt like you were going for a thrust Ooh. or a lunge. There was definitely gonna be jumping. I damaged my Maybe morals. Maybe you scored a point, but this is a fiasco. All right. Um. Hmm. It was terrible, and you know, no need to mock me. What are you talking about? Hmm. You just executed a pretty much perfect petong throw. How are you ever going to get the officer's shit off your nose, Gaston, or even climb out of his ass? That's how Johnny Ballgame is, extraordinary. Right. Was the demonstration it, or do you still need something from us, officer? Yes, officer. What do we need from this gentleman? Mm. Do you know anything about the men hanging hang in the backyard of the whirling in rags? Unfortunately, I don't. Okay. And like most of the locals, I have no qualms about assisting law enforcement, but this affair has passed me by completely. <laughs> and most of the locals... In Martinez, the union is the law, so can mm. you really blame them? But you don't have a problem with cops. Cops is a pejorative term. I don't have a problem with policemen. On the contrary, I admire the effort to bring order to our streets. He doesn't know about the crime. Mm -hmm. Your time is better spent discussing politics. So, about police women, uh, so you don't know if anything. If I knew, I would not be afraid to tell you. I simply don't. I'm an old man, okay. not a coward. The daily business of the riffraff no longer concerns me. Tis true, sire. He knows nothing. Really? I found your guard booth. Yes. The Debardeur's union pays mm -hmm. me to stand with you during the nights. Not out of any political allegiance, mind you. I'm an old man. Don't okay. sleep more than a few hours every night anyway, and money is tight. Uh, your booth looks right into the yard. I saw a picture in there. Uh, you were with, you were in it. Who's the girl? She is nobody. Mm -hmm. This is none of your concern, and I refuse to discuss my private affairs with the RCM. The lady is Jeanne Marie Beaulieu, oh. and she sure as hell wasn't a nobody. You see, sir, seem like something on. You must have seen something on the night of the murder. Your boot looks right into the yard. Yes, it does. Unfortunately, I wasn't working that night. Been on a two-week leave since last Monday. Why were you on leave? So, so wait, who was working your shift that night, actually? No one. Really? The bus has been on man since last Monday. There's no other guard. It's just me. No one has been guarding the container yard since last Monday. Yes! It's... It's not actually an issue. I mean... Look, officers. The container yard doesn't actually need a guardsman. Hmm. Never had one before, René. Monsieur Claire had that booth built specially for him. It's mostly decorative. Mostly decorative. The possibility of someone being in there is enough to discourage any ill-minded individuals. Evrard created oh, wow. this job for René because he knows the Royal Carabiniers' pension of honor and PTSD isn't something a man can live off. A decorated Kingsman collecting tear reflects bad on the whole neighborhood. His words. Okay, Evrard gets it. Big guy looking after the small and everyone's working together. I love it. Such the pension only weakens a man further. Or do or die, there is no middle ground. Frenzy is but one man, and we need a program. Get all the elderly back on the job market, keep the folks motivated. Rene should rent out his services, invest the profit, and a few more guys expand and repeat. Wage work is dead end. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the tax firm collecting. It is my side thing, too. Probably holes out the tear bag. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with tear collecting. It's my thing. Oh! 
I didn't mean to imply there's something wrong with that. No. I do it too. Okay. Everyone does it. It's an excellent side thing. Yes, yes, yes. Can we conclude the topic of my guard boost now? Okay. Yes, it does. Unfortunately, I... No one. No one? Yes. Look, officers. The container yard doesn't actually need the post. Evrard created okay, this see. job for René because he knows the royal Carabinier's oh. pension of honor okay, and PTSD uh, isn't something a man can live off. I love it. And we conclude the topic okay, of my guard it, boost now. It just goes back to this. Okay, conclude. Yes, yes. Uh, like I said, it would be up anyway, so might as well keep an eye out. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, we were just making conversation at that point. The dented yellow mailbox greets you with its graffito bullet hole. At the box. The box seems happy. Yeah. Alright. Snow covers the white on blue police livery of the motor carriage. The white colors nearly meld together. Wait, why am I even thinking about this? Do something important? Something murder related? There's always something important. Doesn't mean you can't take a moment to admire this piece of machinery. This is a Caprice Canema. The Caprice Motor Corps follow up to their highly successful workhorse, Caprice 40 and the answer to the Lums racing breed. With its air-cooled, rear-mounted 12-cylinder compression ignition engine, driving the rear wheels through a four-speed manual gearbox, the Kanema is able to reach 100 kilometers per hour in 13.5 seconds, and go on to a top speed of 180 kilometers an hour. Okay, let's not get distracted. I'm just saying, this, you know. Oh, hey, yeah, there's really spare change. I'll take that. Uh huh. Right to work! Right to work! Shame on you! Wait, what is your goal? We were promised work. We'd be in there. Working. And you're unable to if breach. The bastards hadn't shut the gates. And you're unable to breach the entrance? The main gate's locked. Would take heavy okay. ordnance to bust it open. Could try to get in through the secretary's office. Doors locked. The guards blocking the way to the access panel. And I don't mean the scrawny mess punk either. I mean head measurer. Or whatever he is. Have you considered storming in like all of you? Why don't you go arrest them instead? I'm sure they've done plenty of criminal shit. They have that look. It would be better for the neighborhood if you went home, at least for now, if you can't get in anyway. No! They will give up eventually. Or get drunk. Leave the button unguarded. Then we charge. Okay, so just waiting for the right moment. Uh, who are these strike Honest breakers? Men and women with rights to work, to be useful, not toys for corporate interests. We came here to help the harbor run smoothly in time of crisis. If union fucks don't want work, they ought to let in those who do want work. I have a question. Why do all these men follow your leadership? You think they follow because I'm big and loud? No. They follow the rules of the market, the rules of the economy, because they were given a job to do! Okay, we were promised going? work. We'd be in the... Okay. The physically impressive man tower has turned his attention back to the gates. He ignores your presence. What is a strike? When a bunch of ungrateful, lazy cockroaches can't get their act together, decide to block honest work for other people. And what do the strikers want? Beats me. Hmm. They mumble nonsense about boardrooms and workers' rights. Really? While we have the right to work! 
There's something odd in the way he carries himself. Yeah. His set of clothing looks vaguely mismatched. The different pieces of the attire seem ill-fitting. Ill-fitting? What does that mean? His shirt is far too small and an unpleasantly tight fit, while the overalls, held up by a belt, seem to fit a man with much more corpulence. Hmm. You're wearing new clothes. He ignores your question, okay. choosing instead to turn to the emaciated workers, raising both fists in the air. The clothes mm. are obviously not his. Silence is the answer. There's something off here, but he won't say what. You've been talking to him for quite a while now. Something is uh, off with this guy. Where are you Ask from? Him where he's from. Yeah. What's it to you? A curiosity. Big mess caused by union greed. But I only fight for the rights of people. Okay. Makes sense, I guess. Uh, already got that. I'm interested in your background. We're workers, right? Workers stick together. I came from the eminent domain. In Jamrock, backgrounds in odd jobs, heavy lifting, cargo hauling, bouncer work. I know the drill. A bouncer where? I frequent a lot of bars. Maybe it's what I know. Worked at Territorial. Ring a bell? Yeah, I think I've been there. Uh huh. It was a long time ago. Oh. What's it to you? Uh, I thought you looked familiar. No. Don't think we've met before. I came to help out the people. We're all workers, right? Workers stick together. Came from the eminent domain in Jamrock. Backgrounds in odd jobs, heavy lifting, cargo. I feel like he's going to call me out on bullshit if I say I, I don't. I really don't. I don't really drink. Uh, sweet, I know bar has been thrown out for, from several. Maybe that's why you seem familiar. Worked at Territorial. Ring a bell. Mm, not right now, but I might have been there. I don't really remember a thing things well. Uh-huh. It was okay. a long time ago. Okay, it says the same thing. Uh okay. That's all I can get out of him. How's it going, Kim? Yes. What do you want to know? Mm, now that I now that we're inspecting the scene, I want to know more about this pissed comp competition you mentioned what's there to say it's just stupidity what kind of stupidity the cop kind our precincts can't decide if martinez is part of jamrock or the mm. industrial harbor yours or mine as if we somehow own parts of the city typical street gang mentality oh. so we've let the union make a mockery of law enforcement here and now it's come to its natural conclusion hmm. Ah, so this is a struggle over who runs Martinez. Well, sort of. Oh. It's less a matter of who gets to police Martinez than who has to. Oh. It's an orphan district, in other words. I think the dispatch mm. desk just told both our stations about the hanging. It was quite a brouhaha at the 57th, I can tell you that. Mm. Time to settle it, they said. Cop off. But I assure you, I am not their finest or toughest with 102 cases solved. What I am is least interested in a pissing competition. So he okay. volunteered to represent the 57th, mm -hmm. but not out of competitiveness. On the contrary, somewhere in your mind okay. hangs a dark green blackboard. There are two columns. One says cases solved. The other confirmed kills. Close our eyes. The rows are endless. Mm. Look for Precinct 41. Jean Vitmer, Judith Minot, hmm. a special consultant. What was his name? Then hmm. the rows degrade into green nothingness. I wonder what this says about me. It was that I was sent them by my station. What's so special about Martinez? For some reason, I thought you had a hundred and four case solved. They had a hundred and four solved cases. Well, technically. The official record keeper has been known to double count murder suicide. Oh. Okay. The common accounting gimmick used to inflate precinct stats. So you're still a good cop. I'm good enough for this case. I'm not here to compete. Okay. I came because I had to. My fellow officers, the sergeants in particular, would have made this scene into a circus. What does it says about me? 
Hmm. Hmm. It's all part of the master okay. plan, you see. Hmm. I'm a highly exper experimental cop, but I ha am right to uh, this entree even by my standards. I was sent to, to teach you a lesson in style. <laughs> Uh, there is, can only be one conclusion. I'm the finest case of machines. Okay, no, this is false. I must be angrily an apocalyptic omen sent by the people. Can you guess my message? I probably have an unbelievable kill count. I'm gonna leave what, leave why I s spent unspecific, okay. The silence carries. So you volunteered to spoil it? What's special about my name? Let's conclude it. Yes, it's a wholly pointless matter. Forget I ever mentioned it. Why? Okay, we... Logic is our... We have high for this. Why did the 40 friends send me? Look at you. It's because you're a failure. Oh. They sent you to slight Precinct 57. That makes more sense than the other stuff I thought of. Just think about it for a second. You're a raging mm -hmm. alcoholic who showed up three days late wearing piss-stained disco garb. Mm -hmm. You weren't <laughs> sent here to win. What if uh, my precinct sent me uh, to the case because I'm a fuck-up like a joke? I've considered it. Oh. So it is true. It would be immensely ugly of them, not to mention unprofessional. Mm -hmm. But I also think it's somewhat unlikely. Why is that? I check the records. This jurisdiction dispute, who polices Martinez, mm -hmm. reaches back to the 13. It's as old as my station. So you are. And all this time, we oh. can't decide who gets Martinez. I uh, think yes. Okay. Both stations would prefer a win. So you are the finest. I am the finest of nothing. Okay. Do you really see me as a safe bet? Safe? No. But you are old. You've made it this far. Something has brought you through. We've only just started working together, so I don't know what it is yet, but it's there. So no, I don't think they sent you as a joke. And even if they did, they are in for a surprise. Okay, okay well that was a nice conversation. Intricate web of blue lines stretches across oh. the torso of the hanged man, from the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Each time the lines intersect, a small white star is formed in their crossing. Hundreds of fading asterisks riddle mm -hmm. his skin. Their concentration is highest around his heart. It still kind of looks like a map of the stars in the night sky, but something's not right. It was the meaning of the tattoos. For you to discover. You've gotten as far as you will without assistance. Someone who knows about history could tell you. Who are you? Gone. Okay. Well, yeah, we definitely know who can tell us about it, but we need our badge. That's the struggle here. Well, one, I need my badge and my gun. Yeah. It's rough. What do you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we already went through the footprints. Okay, so this this area right here. An inconspicuous pile of the roofing okay, material okay. eat tonight. Perception high. Plus one drama said to take another look. Sure. Because yeah. there's a secret door hidden behind the panels of eat tonight. That's why they're too Orderly. Pull the panels aside. There it is. You see a shabby little door. Man, I can't believe that took us so long. Oh. <laughs> okay. Great. What is this, then? A tool shed? Let's investigate. Yeah. Indeed. Yep. <laughs> 